I'm Anne McMillan, and this is the Trinomial Cube. When sharing the Trinomial Cube with young children, make sure to just show it while not saying anything. We don't use words to explain what's going on in order to give the children a chance to just quietly watch. The first time through, they may want to reach out and touch the cube as you're showing it to them, but just remind them that their turn will be coming in a moment and that first you are going to show them how it's done from the very beginning to the very end. If they're not able to focus through your presentation, it probably means that it's not the right time for them to be looking at this material and that you can just wait and show it to them at a later date. When you're showing them the material for the first time, move your hands very, very slowly. Many times adults are moving so quickly because we have memorized the actions that our hands need to take in order to accomplish any one task. But children can't keep up with it. And so they will often get distracted or look away simply because the movements that you are making are too quick. Intentionally slow down your hands as you move each prism from the box to the surface of the table. When you move slowly, the children will be able to keep up with your actions. The second time through, when it's the child's turn to try the trinomial cube themselves, stay by their side and help them remember the steps that you showed them in the first presentation. Most children will not remember to start out by putting all of the cubes on the table at random and then to sort them in long columns by color before making one layer at a time on the map and transferring it to the box. This sequence requires repetition. And if you sit by them while they're first engaging with the trinomial cube, understanding that sequence, they will be much more likely to have success. And then at a later time, hopefully they will be able to put together the trinomial cube without doing it one layer at a time using the map, just selecting the right prism from the table and putting it straight into the cube. But that is a much more advanced task and it's not something you should expect the child to be able to do after just seeing you present the material one time very slowly. And remember, it's so exciting that children are able to use this concrete material and gain familiarity with the trinomial cube without any comprehension that later on in the Montessori curriculum, they will be engaging with decanomials and large polynomials and understanding how each cube represents a term. They'll be able to look back and remember the trinomial cube and comprehend it in this very visual way that will give them an advantage and a comprehension far above their peers. And right now, they're just doing a fun puzzle. Enjoy your work with the trinomial cube.